Okay. Uh, you know, fifth game, ten days. Um, you know, we 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 came out and, and we were really pressing. Uh, we were we were trying not to lose. You know, when when you when you start out and and, and you're zero and four. And I've been I've been there before in league plays uh, throughout my uh, 29, 30 years of tenure as a, as a coach. Uh, and you start really pressing to, to try to find that 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 button to to get the you know get get yourself in a flow. And we we really struggled early because we were really trying to press. And it doesn't matter how you win. Nobody's going to remember the, the way, how the game came out, as long as you won. And, you know, the second half we came out and played uh, a lot, lot, lot of character. I'm happy that this is the second opponent in, in uh, last two games we've out-rebounded. Uh, we shared the ball. We had 21 assists. Um, Justin Johnson did have a great game offensively as far as scoring the ball. He was a little under the weather, but grabbed 13 defensive rebounds. Um, and and uh, at times, I, 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 we were a comical group, um, but, um, you know, Mike Adewumi also had a big game, 19 to 10. Um, and and I, I just, we, we, we took him out in the second half. Uh, and they were coming off of a, a big victory against Cal Baptist. So um, really happy for the win, really happy that uh, we got that monkey off our back, and now we can probably, hopefully, Take some more steps uh, towards becoming a better team. Yes, Omar. Um, what was your message to the team you know, going into the second half, only teams up by six points? Well, I didn't like the way we finished the first half. You know, we're up, we're up 40-29. They go on a 5-0 run to to get it. You know, six point game. I think we left left the guy open for a three, who is uh, their best their best shooter. And I just went in there and said, Yo, the thing, the scout report, isolation. Oh, no open threes, defensive rebound. You know that uh, uh, we grabbed 33 defensive rebounds tonight. We 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 we've, you know, um, we've got to be able to put our self infliction. But we everybody in this room who's bet with talked with me over and over, defensive rebound has been the issue. Uh, we're starting to be more committed to it. It's amazing. Uh, we do a little box out drill and it, and it translates. So. Uh, um, we we now got it. We now got to clean up. So we've had back to back nights of 17 turnovers last two games. So we got we got to um, we got we got to clean that up. But they didn't capitalize on it. So uh, we can't play Russian roulette without those turnovers. Uh, but overall, I'm happy that we won. Um, you know, we we um, we were in control of the game of starting out of the locker room. I think we started off nine or ten over on start the second half. Uh, kind of put it out of reach there. They kept fighting and scrapping. They could never get it back under 14, I think, second half. So we kept it pretty comfortable. And, you know, me, I got to relax a little more. But, you know, hey, man, when you when you go from December the 18th to January the 13th without a win, you, you get hungry. And, uh, you know, I, I probably use more energy in this game than I have all year with our team. And if I and if I got to do it and have my head red and my head hurt, I'm going to do it because that's that's who I am. Um, like it or not, that that that's who I've been. That's who I am. Um, you know, I I, I I I'm passionate about what we do. I'm passionate about my kids. I want them to play the right way. I didn't like the way we played at the end of the second half uh, with some of the things, but it's a step in the right direction. Uh, Coach. Uh Perhaps you don't see it in the box score, but throughout the game there were some multiple multiple occasions where uh, Chicago State was able to capitalize on a few back doors and a few uh, back door answering passes. Just how, how do you just uh, fix that up and try to limit those uh, chances uh, as I guess one of the weaknesses of, of your team? Well, uh, you know, um, we don't ever want to give those up, Ray. Um, but you know, I, I felt like uh, in the second half we were um, we were more locked in. I was, you know, when the game got kind of in a in a in a place of victory, it became more of a game of one on one. And 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 we've not won enough to learn. To, like I told you guys, the last press conference I said right here, when we fought against New Mexico State, I said we got to learn how to stop losing before we can learn how to win. And you know, that's a process. That's a process. I mean, think about it. In a shortened season last year, 
10 losses last year, 11 already this year. You know, that's 21 losses in the last two years. You know, and, and, and that's – you got to get out of losing. And so I, I felt like once the game got – you know, they made some plays, one-on-one -on -one plays and stuff like that, and, you know, that's part of the game. So, uh, you know, commend them. Um, you know, we've progressed until you face Utah Valley. Um, what are some things that you're going to be working on? You know, Me, my mental health. Um, you know, uh, you know, we've got to, we, we've got to find, you know, with, we've got to find solidarity with consistency of having guys on the team, not hurt, not in the training room, you know, shorthanded. I've got, I, I've got to do a better job with our guys offensively. Uh, I mean, we scored 85 points tonight, but we've been running stuff that I've not been comfortable with, I'll be honest with you as a coach, uh, because of, of the lack of people that we've had to move around. And so I've got to get back to running stuff that I'm comfortable with. And now that we've got more guys, I've got to, I got to be comfortable with it. Um, and I've not been comfortable with what we've done. You know, we're starting to see more zone and with the makeshift stuff that we've had to do, I've not done a very good job of, of, of getting these guys to understand what we've got to do with zone concepts. Um, so uh, that's on me. I take full, you know, we're a team. We're a team. So, um, you know, it's, it, you know I, I think players win your games and coaches sometimes lose your games. So we're all in it together. So I make, I'm human, I make mistakes. So we'll practice on all of our mistakes. Uh, Try to get get on the road and go to Utah, and um, we're, going on, we're going on the road back on the road again. But we've got we got a, a win under our belt, so though there should be some uh, a, a better pep in our step, so to speak. You know, it, our our kids' fight has still been there. We've played some hard games going uh, to start league play. You know, we were we were uh, gassed. Uh, we had some setbacks when we went to Sam Houston. You know, we came back and and, and we had Grand Canyon in New Mexico State. I thought our effort and our will to want to win was there. We just undermanned a little bit. And then we, you know, turn around and have to go to SFA and, and we compete. We had a five point game with a minute to play. We self inflicted and the score of the game different than what the game really was. We got behind and we in, in this one, the back end, we just needed energy. And and in the second half we relaxed. Coach, uh, tonight was one of the few nights where you may have had like 10 active players see the court at uh, different uh, stretches. Uh, just uh, how do you just uh, get those players a little bit more acclimated? I know that you're not at full strength yet, but how do you just uh, get them in unison and get them uh, with with your system that you guys want to run? Well, I've got to I've, I've got to get them get them in unison. I've got to have them on the court all the time. So. Um, you know, we got to get back to doing the stuff that 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 I want to bread and butter. We've got to have a you know. There's plenty of ways of. Uh, I, I want to attack the rim. We we do a good job of attacking the rim. We're one of the best. I think we're one of the best teams in the country at, at attacking the rim. I, maybe at one point I think we we're, we're the highest at rim rate attack in the in the country. So we're going to put heat on the rim. I got we got offense to rebound better. You know now, you know you shoot 55 percent in the game, but we got offense to rebound. That's that's been my one thing. Um, teams I've been associated with from an assistant to a head coach that we've always been one of the better offensive rebound teams in the country. And, and, and that's in this league, that's the one thing I've found now. This league is everybody is a you, – you come in and you're soft on the glass, you're going to get exposed. And that's the one thing about this league that's different from the league I came from is everybody plays – Kind of similar when it comes to that mentality. It's like just a really aggressive. So we've got to we got to keep working on that. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Anybody got any?